All right, Shalom. Want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, just back at you again with something um, I've seen on the YouTube feed. And I was watching, and I got about, you know, three minutes and 45 seconds in, and I couldn't watch it no more. You know, I am ashamed, I, I, I am ashamed of you so-called blacks and Latinos today. You know, you men, especially you older men that are in your 40s and 50s with this new ideology and acceptance of the Greek culture, knowing that that is not of you, you know, blaming that the way you were raised, you you were raised wrong. The way that we were raised, being that who we are, comes from our culture. Now, you so-called Black Latino are adopting the culture of being a Greek. You know, there's nothing cool about being a Greek. This is why when you read the story of Jacob and Esau, it tells you that there were what? One characteristic was that there were two different manner of people between Jacob and Esau, all right? And with the understanding of the scriptures, you should know that Jacob, okay, is the father of the 12 tribes, which is today you call so-called, the so-called blacks, Latinos, Native, and Seminole Indians, all right? The West Indians and Haitians, these are the 12 tribes, okay? And then you have Esau, which birthed the nation of Edom, Esau, Edom, they are the so-called white people today, all right, which go by the names of Europeans, man. Now, when you read about that, you see that the Lord said that there are two different men of people. Now, today in 2020, these so-called blacks, West Indians, and Haitians, and Hispanics, all right, are picking up the culture and are adopting the culture of being a Greek, all right? Same thing they did in the past, you know. At the time, you read in the Maccabees, um, Antiochus, Epiphanes, you know, when they converted and um, basically into Greek culture, you know, so there's really nothing new under the sun. But, you know, time after time, man, if you a follower of righteousness, a follower of truth, a follower and believing in the Bible and believing in Yahweh Bashem Shai, which the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ then, you know, this should disturb you, you know, it's, it's going to make you mad because you see, you know, our people just is all right out wicked. But at the end of the day, you know, the Lord said two thirds of his people is going to get put to death. So it's understandable why the Lord is going to destroy Babylon the Great. All right. And Babylon the Great, which means great confusion. Now, this is great confusion right here. So, I believe this show is called The Soul Something. I forgot. I'm pretty sure y'all brothers are aware of this show. Kind of new emerging. I don't think they got too many. 71,000 subscribers. They under 100,000. But they coming up. And they got, you know, got good interviews, good topics. And this is the topic about Dwayne Wade accepting his son, which now his son is, is basically wants to be called a girl. So, let me just play a little bit, if I can get to at least three minutes, because I doubt if I can. So, your brothers could, you know, dig this up and look it up and watch the video yourself. So, let's play. Dwayne Wade. He's a damn yes. good parent. Dwayne Wade, Gabriel Union. Yeah. Really good parents. Uh, so, y'all heard about this 12-year-old daughter now. Uh, First off. They say that he's a good parent. So, okay, being a good parent today is accepting your son, um, accepting your son while your son is confused in his sexuality. All right? Where, <laughs> you know, that's being a good parent. Mm-mm. Uh, well, he's born Zion. Uh-huh. Uh, and now Zaya. 
yeah. came out as transgender. Mm -hmm. She wants to be called Zaya now. Mm -hmm. And Dwayne Wade came out with a video and supporting his daughter now. And Gabrielle Union's done the same thing. And But, you know, in society today, people still want to criticize. I, I, I think he's, yeah. Oh. You're on his way. <laughs> people still Let him want, leave. We, we live in a world, a, a society that I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a... I'm gonna let you speak with the ignorance or uneducated or whatnot. You look at a 12. All right, I can't, and I'm not gonna play no more of this video because I don't want them to be copyrighting me and none things like that. So you got the drift. I think that's about enough. And um, basically what he's saying, I'll tell you, is that it's ignorant to not accept a a man or a woman. You know, not accept them in the likings of their own opinion of their sexuality. All right. If a man wants to be called a woman, it's OK. You know, if you're against that, then you're ignorant. And he said uneducated. First off, all of you people that deal with homosexuality are uneducated, man. Because there's nothing healthy about homosexuality. There's nothing um, beneficial for homosexuality. Do you not know that homosexuality is genocide? If you were educated, you would know the right from the wrong. But he flip it and say, because of your feelings and how you feel, you say that a person is uneducated and he's ignorant because he doesn't accept the fact that this man claims that he's a woman. So if I ran around and I claimed that I was a giraffe and I got mad and upset because you wouldn't treat me like a giraffe. Would you call me crazy or would you say, you know, I should be accepted as well? You know, this is outright madness. OK, and um, I'm not playing no more of that. This is Micah chapter two, verse 10. Arise ye and depart for this is not your rest because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. And that's this place, Babylon, the great Babylon, the great means great confusion. There's great confusion in the land of Babylon. OK, you know, the scriptures say, um, what's that? Matter of fact, let me see something here. Revelations 18. Because the other nations have drunken of this wine of Babylon. And you need to know what this, this wine of Babylon is. Which other nations are taking up, man. <coughs> For uh, Revelations 18 and 3. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are waxing rich through the abundance of her delicacies. All right. Which these other nations have taken what? That wine, which is the false philosophies, man. The uh, ideology. Okay. The... Uh, what you call it, um, the idol worshiping, uh, you know, uh, what else? Pagan holidays, you know, this wine in which this, this place Babylon the Great possesses and practices is all wickedness, man. The Greek culture was straight up wickedness. There's no way in hell you can embrace Greek culture, Greek mythology, mythology is all fake and Greek culture was all wickedness, man, witchcraft, homosexuality, man. All right. When the Bible speaks differently. So for these Jakes today, and I'm talking about you older guys, man, your forties and fifties, how dare you say it's wrong? Cause when you listen to that video, he going to say how I was raised growing up being ignorant not accepting it because you come from a different culture. Now these Edomites then spreaded their culture 
among everyone. And if you're not for their culture, because they made their culture by law, you know, if you're not for it, then you're, you know, a homophobic. They call it you're afraid of them or you are you're ignorant, you're uneducated. When really, if you get into it, you the ones are uneducated that deals with that type of practice, man. Because if you lived your life according to truth and not feelings, then you will understand the right and the wrong. And that's all I'm stating, right and wrong. You know, you can't um, tell me that if this bottle, this uh, plastic bottle I'm holding in my hand is green. You can't tell me that it's blue. And then I start saying, well, you know what? Since you said it was blue and it, and it makes you upset that I say that it's green, then I'm going to just say it's blue too. All of us are not sheeple. And I'm saying the whole for elect, man. Let me speak in those those terms because the whole for elect is of the Lord's hand picked, man, and which I hope to be a part of, Lord's willing, if I endure. You know, the Most High said he had kept the cluster of of grape to himself, which is of great men. Okay? They're not going to be a part of this world. The Lord said in um, Wisdom of Solomon, second chapter, I have made them to, I, they, they, were, they were made to reprove your thoughts. So meanwhile, while this veil is going across your eyes and you're blindfolded, the Lord sent out his men to unblindfold you for he that could receive it. You know? Because you do have certain individuals that are not raised right they're raised in this era and they're taught certain things and thinking things are cool until they get corrected and then they go oh all right well i'm glad i know the truth now and then you got some that just want to be blind and ignorant to the fact and they want to stay in their state of ignorance they call it what's the scripture say isaiah believe the fifth chapter let me get that real quick let me get that <clears throat> I know it's the fifth chapter. Let me see here. Right. This. All right. Let me get this. this is Isaiah chapter five. And um, verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. So you got individuals, wickedness, okay, two-thirds of Israel that that will put evil for good. And that's what those guys are doing on the interview. That's what this this is exactly what these guys are doing. All right, on this show. All right. Even though they call themselves, think they're speaking good of Dwayne Wade and his his wife and how good of parents they're raising their children. Right. And the Lord in the heavenly father's eyes looking down upon you, according to scripture, you're a wicked man. You're calling evil good. All right. You know, you could uh, a lot of people today, they speak in the terms of being politically correct. You know, let me say the things that will not. Uh, harm anyone's feelings when the truth is truth so i won't speak the truth because i don't want to hurt anybody's feelings but if i speak the truth then i'm gonna be an enemy i'd rather speak the truth all day every day of yahweh bashim yahweh shah and rakakodash the holy spirit than to just be shuck shuffing and jiving and playing along to get along because at the end of the day, the Lord is visiting this earth in which he made. There's so many prophecies that's taking place this year and things that are happening that happened in the past when the Most High sent plagues, when he sent plagues upon Egypt, they're happening today. Not only that, but the Lord is fulfilling the prophecies in which he said that will happen in the last days because we're living in the last days, all right, which is the mark of the beast is the RFID microchip. Okay, World War Three. We're, we're still brute. We're still uh, 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 headed into a World War Three. Eventually, it's gonna happen. Okay, famine, the pestilences is we're in the season of pestilences, man. You know, I got another video I want to do where 
there was an actual <coughs> earthquake and blood started to come out of the ground, you know, taking you back to Egypt when Moses struck the waters and the water turned to blood. All right. And if you can't see these things, then that's on you. But anyway, it says, woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. You see, they calling Dwayne Wade good parenting because he accepted his son. Now his son is a daughter of a girl in their eyes. That's evilness, man. Okay. That put darkness for light. That is darkness. That's not light. That's blinding yourself and anyone that subscribe to that ideology and that falsehood, they're all in darkness. That is not the light. That is not the truth. The truth represents the light. The darkness represents lies. And it makes perfect sense that it does. Whenever it's dark, you know, you can you can lie. You know, people won't see it. Whenever it's light, you can only see but what you see. And that's the truth. If I see a cat, a stray cat walking across from my car, I'm seeing the truth. I'm seeing that there's a cat, a brown cat walking across from the car. But if I'm at nighttime and I'm seeing a cat come across the car, but I don't hit it and I thought I hit it, then I, you know, it's a lie. I thought I seen some, but it really wasn't. It could have been a rat. It could have been a raccoon. So anyway, woe unto them that call evil good and good evil that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet. That is bitter, man. You know, I'm not going to say what I really want to say, but I just want to edify, you know, those of the whole for elect. Okay. It's a lot of uh, fugazi and feminine, uh, feminine energy going on in this society, you know. And most of you sheeple, which are people that tune into the videos, when you do, you're part of the masses of the world. You are feminized, you know. You're going to do what you expect that someone would like you to do, which is to do the worst. You know, when you hear truth, <coughs> deny it. <coughs> deny it. So anyway, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. All right. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. So the woe means death and destruction. All right. So if you thought this, this, uh, these characters in this show. Of your own and, you know, these characters in this show were, were wise. Well, the Lord said, woe unto them, you know, now I kind of like this show. You know, and I'm not going <laughs> to stop watching the show. Oh, Fox Soul. That's what it's called. You know, the Mike and Donnie show, because they always have different interviewers and different people come up in different topics. It's pretty good. But for them to to narrate, because when they narrate like the Breakfast Club, you know, they are part of an agenda. Charlemagne, DJ Envy, when they narrate and push their opinion you know, on radio, instead of letting it, you know, be for an argument topic or, you know, let it be there, they, they, they push in a certain side for the masses of the people to be. And the masses of the people, okay, which really you Israelites, you're watching and saying, well, I agree with what he say because he's the host. You know, you always believe in what the host is saying. Today, the host is pushing uh, witchcraft, man. He's pushing darkness, you know. So this is, you know, they put bitter, they put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. You know, this that's bitterness, man. To have a son, you know. Let me let me uh, go back to the scriptures. Anyway, so now, so now, because it's getting to the point, we can't say anything. You know, you can't say nothing, man. This shit is sickening. I pray the Lord, man. Baba Kusha, y'all watch me out, shy, man. This shit is sickening, man. Gotta be careful, man. Just, man, I gotta get the scripture, man. I must read this in my mind. I wanna quote it again. Gotta get it, man. <clears throat> now this is Matthew's 24 and 22. And except those days should be shortened. That's why time is going by so fast, man. Time is going by fast. If you can't see that, then you're a fool. There shall no flesh be saved. Why no flesh will be saved? Because 
if Esau has his way, and according to their new world order, their one world army, okay, their um uh um new way with the new world order, which is really ultimately to um to microchip you, everyone would be microchipped. Because eventually they're gonna roll out and they're gonna demand and force this RFID microchip, which that is the mark of the beast. No flesh would be saved. If Esau had another 20, 40, 50 years here, then guess what? At the at the, the uh pace that we're going now, where things are changing rapidly and it's being more feminized and men are accepting more of this Greek culture of homosexuality, all you men would be gay. You know? It says, but for the elect's sake, which elect goes into eclectos, okay, the Greek word um, for elect, or it could be for chosen. Either way, it's the same thing. The elect sake, those who the Lord has chosen, those days should be shortened. These days today, all right? That's why everything is happening so fast. And this year, you know, as the elder apostles are hard coined this year, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, this is the year of prophecy. In the month of January, there were so many things that happened. And I'm not going to sit here and keep running it down because I say it a lot in most of the videos. But you should know if you've been watching, man. And now we're in the month of February and this coronavirus, the bird flu virus. Uh, I've seen brothers do shows and said that um about 11 military bases are, are, are up and, and running, you know, quarantining individuals. You know, it's, it's imagine what the summer going to look like. You know, but this is a good thing. All right. It's a good thing because the Lord is uh, the Lord is visiting this earth in which he made, man. All right. And these days are shortened for the elect's sake. So let me go to Romans real quick and get one and start at like 22. Right. This is uh, Romans 1 and 22 professing themselves to be wise. They became fools. And these men, you know, according to this show, you thought they were wise. <laughs> Instead of just like talking about it, leaving it up in the air, they're pushing their agenda that you're ignorant and uneducated if you don't accept uh, homosexuality. But they never have a, a real individual that keeps it real and that accepts truth before feelings. On their shows, every show that you come across and they talk about these topics, there's never nobody up there to speak facts. Like what happened to facts? That used to be a saying around here. Facts. Nigga say something. Boo, 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 boo. Facts. You know what happened to facts? Facts is truth. All right. And the Hebrew word, I'm off. All right. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. So that's why I said I'm ashamed of you, you Negroes and you Latinos today, man. And especially you older men that's around your 40s and 50s that, you know, you didn't grow up in this type of era. You knew better. You grew up more manly, man. It's not an ignorant way. You know, we as Negroes and Latinos are a different culture from and a different manner of people than these Edomites, than these so-called Europeans, man. All right. Their way is not the right way. Just because they're ruling doesn't make that they're right. Everything that the government uh, passes laws on doesn't make the government right. The government is not God. All right. And change the glory of the uncorruptible God, which is Yahweh, into an image made like unto corruptible men. And that's what you people do. You change the glory of our heavenly father, an uncorruptible power, uncorruptible power into an image. OK, made like to corruptible men. So you think the Lord uh, is a corrupt man? The most high is above man. OK, he's uncorruptible. He's a power that abides in righteousness forever, man. Scriptures say he's a power that doesn't lie, a man that doesn't lie. So because of your inventions, new inventions that you create and being a corrupt man, you change the, the image of the most high to a corruptible man, you know, like uh, Aryan Spears, one of them characters, man. I can't believe God 
if God is good, then why are we going through? It's because you lack understanding. You are ignorant to the ways of the Lord because you don't read the scriptures, man. You won't listen to the prophets or the men of the Lord. Our videos get passed on because you, you guys think we don't know what we're talking about. Oh, he just talking. He ain't saying nothing. You know, that's the cope, you know. Oh, that's one of them black actors, whatever, you know. And you overpass these lessons and these these epistles, these shows to edify you, man. To to basically, as the scripture said, Wisdom of Solomon, second chapter, they were made the 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 prophets were made to reprove your thoughts, mainly Esau, but especially also to our people, you know. Even though you're a hard headed, stiff necked people, the Lord still sent his men out there bedtime to uh to 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 warn you, man, you know. But you overlook these videos because you think it, oh, I don't get that many subscribers. I don't get that many views. Ain't nobody listening to that. That's why most of the people operate. Their brains operate in a, in a carnal manner. You know, that's another thing. The scriptures say they, they are of another fashion. All right. Jacob is of another fashion, roughly paraphrasing. Meaning the elect of Jacob is of another fashion because their brains, the elect brains, the hopeful elect, their brains don't operate. The same way how the rest of Israel, the two thirds brains operate. You will really judge a video off of the views and comments, but never listen to the content. That shows you that you're a sheeple. All right. You're followers of lies. Anyway, and change the glory of the uncorruptible power into an image made like to corruptible men and to birds and four footed beasts and creepy things. Exactly. Because you worship idols. Now your uh, leaders are rappers. How can your your active leaders, who you know, for your nation, you, do y'all? I don't think black people, y'all people, don't understand that you're still a separate nation from East, from the so-called white man. <coughs> when it comes to politics, and you're dealing with the presidency and the election, <coughs> the ele when you deal with these things, they always categorize every people according to their nation, man. <laughs> but when you see entertainment it's you in in movies you think that we are all together bunched in one oh you know this is a new era 2020 you know but then when it comes to the presidency and the politics and they category everybody according to what their nationality so what the hell does movies and you know being a celebrity and and you know like as if you're you're meshed in like like, we're all together. We're not all together. Together. Anyway, it says, verse 24. Wherefore, the Most High also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. And that's your homosexuality. This is the Most High because this is not new. You know, that's why the Lord had destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. And he also said in Jude 1 and 7, this is an example for any other kingdom that shall live ungodly. Meaning that any other kingdom that live in this type of ungodly manner, promoting it on a large scale as this place Babylon the Great is doing now, America, the Most High is going to destroy it from off the face of the earth. And matter of fact, I'm going to get that just so you can see it if you haven't seen it. This is Jude chapter 1, verse 7. It says, Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication. Okay, fornication which represents all unlawful, all unlawful sex. All right. Whether it's bestiality, whether it's uh pedophilia, uh incest. Fornication means all unlawful sex, man. It says, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh. Why is it strange? Because it's against nature. You don't see two, two lions, male lions with manes, humping on each other to bring forth life and to have children. When you see something like that, you'll go, that's strange. You know, so how much more for men? And man is supposed to be over the beasts of the field, right? So it says, and going after strange flesh it are set for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire, because the Lord rained fire and brimstone from the heavens upon those cities, those five cities, 
until and still to this day in 2020 it is not occupied i believe um the uh what they said it was uh certain scholars and things of that nature said that the 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 the, the dirt is uh is salt and basically still salt from all the people that basically died in those cities man i remember seeing the old video on youtube where it was a guy, it was a documentary, he went over there and he even said the deers go and lick up on the salt, you know, because still to this day, it's an uninhabitable, all right? And that's what the Lord is ultimately going to make for Babylon the Great, all right? Matter of fact, let me go back to, uh, to prove that, let me go back to Revelations 18 and 1, because it gets right into it, 1 to, to 3, I believe. It says, and after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen. All right, so this is the time when Babylon the great is actually destroyed. This is the aftermath. This is the vision of the aftermath. So it says, and he cried mightily. With a strong voice saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Alright, so that is the uh, future for Babylon the great, aka America. Alright, just as well as the Lord did with Sodom and Gomorrah. So jumping back to Romans 1 and 24, wherefore the Most High also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts, which is their mind. It's not talking about their feelings. Well, yeah, you can say your feelings because your feelings come from your mind. It's not talking about the muscle in your chest. So it says the mo it says he gave them uh, up to the uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor, not honor. It's not an honor. When a man and man is is laying down with each other, or a woman and woman, that's not an honor. An honor is, matter of fact, I may look that word up, but honor is when a a a, a man has found his wife, man, or a wife finding her husband, the dream of her life. That's honor, you know. But let me just look it up. You know that will be considered something honorable, you know. To dishonor, insult, treat, to attempt. Whether in word, deep, or thought. Matter of fact. Let me go here. Alright, honor. High respect, great esteem. You know, when, when a woman, when a man has found his bride. You know, when a man has found his bride, since we're speaking on this perspective, right, that would be honor. He found a woman that was that was uh, suitable, you know, woman of his life. Same thing for a, a woman finding a man. High respect, great esteem, man. That's honor. That's honoring your body. OK, not eating the foul foods is honoring your body, you know, dealing with the herbs and, you know, being spiritual. Keeping the uh, holy days and practicing the righteous acts is honoring your body. All right. Regard with great respect. You got respect for your, for your body. You know, you don't touch yourself up because that's against the law. That's honoring and respect for your body. All right. So that should be it for that. All right. Now let me go back. This is Romans 1 and 20, 1 and 25. Who changed the truth of Yahweh into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator? Who is blessed forever? Amun. All right. So who changed the truth of God into a lie? The government. All right. The USA government. Because they state laws that's against God. And the people stands for their for the government laws, and that's what changed the truth of God, man. All right, because they don't abide by Esau, Esau Edom changed the truth of God into a lie. All right, two thirds of you Israelites changed the truth of God into a lie. 
It says in worship and serve the creature more than the creator who was blessed forever. All right. You worship man more than you worship the heavenly father who created you, man, and everything in its existence around you. Your whole well-being that you can breathe oxygen, man. Inhale, exhale, eat food, live, grow, babies being born, you know. Everything that you have around you is through Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. But you rather worship man. Anyway, it says, verse 26, for this cause, the Most High gave them up to a veil of affection. For even their women, women did change the natural use into that which is against nature all right so even women you're not exempt a woman on woman is not cool that is wickedness man that is witchcraft all right that is demonic that is darkness that is not light and you can't justify that scriptures talk about justifying wickedness man and condemning the just you know that is evil man so let me look up vow affection Well, look at Val. Dishonor. Ignominy. Disgrace. Disgrace. All right. So Val is dishonor, ignominy, and disgrace. You know, dishonor, shame, reproach. So this is what the Lord gave you up to. A Val affection. All right. A shameful affection, man. That is shameful. A dishonor affection. All right? So, let me get back. For this cause, the Most High gave them up unto a vile affection, dishonorable affection, disgrace affection, shameful affection. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. You see women on women getting married. You know, marrying each other and living these long lives with each other. You know, and the Lord know how to reserve the wicked for the dead evil too. You know. I believe uh what's that Psalm 73? You know, uh how I go. Matter of fact, let me um get that real quick. Out of there, I want to get Psalms and go to 73 and 1. Uh, right, this is what I wanted to get out of here 73 and 3. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked, because just because the wicked is prospering doesn't mean they're not gonna get dealt with. See, the scriptures say the Lord says He know how to, I believe that's in Second Peter's. Uh, the third chapter, the Lord know how to reserve the wicked for the day of evil. All right. So when the Lord prolongs a wicked man life, it's because the Lord know how to reserve him for that day of destruction, that day of punishment. Just like he know how to, uh, 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 how the scripture go. He know how to save the, the godly from, from temptation. So it says, for when I was envy, when, for I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. All right, and this gets into Esau, man. For there was no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. You know, you think, you be like, damn, man, they winning. That's what Jake, Jake that don't understand the scriptures, two-thirds, you know, unless they wake up. But their motto is, man, they've been winning for so long. This is the way you got to do it. This is how you got to make it in this world. Got to get your education. Go to college, get your degree. Yep, that's how you do it, brother. Got to get right. I don't hate no white man. I don't hate nobody. See, that hate, that's self-hatred. They start speaking like that because they see what? No bears in their death. But strength, their strength is firm. You know? I be around older Jake all the time and these older men talk like that. Oh, he, yeah, you know that Jew? Yeah, man, he got it all together. He owned that building? Yeah, that's what you got to do. You got to stay in there, man. I be listening because they looking at their, uh, they looking at their, uh, you know, their strength and how you don't see no Edomites. That's why just recently someone showed me a little Edomite woman had found 
and they she was found dead. She was missing, and they broadcast it on the news as if we all supposed to care. But when Jake get gunned down by the police, they don't broadcast it all those incidents, you know, because it's real. It rarely happens to you Edomites. But now we're starting to see the curses come upon you Edomites. That was on us. So a lot of these Edomites today are catching hell because the rules are reversing. The curses are being uplifted off of us and putting it on them. Let me say the Israel, hey, the elect of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, the Israelites is on the rise to take in the world, man. Through Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. When Yahweh return, we're going to rule this planet in righteousness, man. So anyway, let me get back and wrap this thing up. This is uh, Romans 1 and um, 27. And likewise, also men leaving the natural use of a woman burn. See, the natural use of a woman. What is the natural use of a woman? That he marry, make love, have babies. All right. Regenerate his family, their family, you know. All right. And the recycling goes on and on and on. This is how the earth abides forever. But Esau, on the other end, if he had it his way, no flesh would be saved. Because if you say it's 2020 now, and let's say if it be 2050, I guarantee you there'd be this, this Esau would have defeated the prophecies, made the most high a liar, and you Israelites will be going. All right? You will have committed genocides. You know? Anyway. It says, leaving the natural use of a woman, burn in their lust toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. So guess what? You know, the error, you know, which you have done, which is same sex, the most high is going to, hey, it says it here, he's going to recompense you of the error that you have done. So, you know, and I'm reading scriptures. This is Bible. All right, Romans 1 and 27, man. So, you know, that's it, man. Ain't got nothing else. Go back to here. Show y'all the, uh, you see that untimed out already. So anyway, I hope you guys were edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Basham Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's whole for elect. A society that I don't know what. Right there. Just want to get it back on that little picture. Yeah, so with that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Rakakwadash. want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's whole for elect. Shalom.